Hello everyone, welcome to part two of my Neo Kyo haul and storing away of the photo cards. So um, we are going to start with my non-17 related groups that I collect for. Um, and yeah, okay, we are back in my kitchen. It's a little echoey, but I needed like a flat surface and my table's a good height for me to like sand and film this without being super uncomfortable. So um, yeah, that's how we're back here. So this is my rosé collection. Um, let me pull her cards out. I have one of the black Polaroid versions of Kill This Love. I'm going to stick her right over here. And with that, I'm just missing the last pink one, um, which I will have to buy. Okay, this is how you like that. I think I'm going to put this one up here. Um, and then the ones I'm missing are the ones with her wearing um, pigtails. This wasn't my favorite um, era in terms of like styling and the photo card concepts. I think these two are really cute. I'm not a huge fan of her in pigtails in general. That's just like a personal preference. Um, I also don't like how grainy these are. I don't know. They're kind of like low quality and they have these like weird pluses in the background, which I don't know is a choice, I guess. This is um, obviously the most recent comeback, the album. I am all done. I'm really excited to be done with that set. And then these are the K10 for you Pruder cards. And then um, just some of the photo cards from their summer diaries. Okay, so let's flip through. Here are the larger inclusions. Yada, yada, yada. On to Uki. So Uki, I am now done with her album photo cards. Um, ta-da! So these are the two from Dumdi Dumdi. These are the K10 for You pre-order cards, and I actually think, I don't know, I think these are cuter than the actual album cards. <laughs> um, fortunately, I have pretty decent Uki luck, so I managed to get a lot of these pulled on my own, and then I also bought some of these from eBay sellers. I'm just gonna fix this because it's like crooked. I hate how weirdly shaped Idol's photo cards are. They're like super skinny um, and they're also super inconsistent. Like these ones are really skinny. This was, was these ones were big. These ones are also kind of skinny. And then um, this one was just like too big to fit into an eye pocket. I don't know like what went on in that discussion when they were planning the designs for these, but not a fan. Okay. So now we have my Yua page, and I have, oh, I actually have these three to put in. And I actually have one more coming on the way from someone that I traded with in Australia. So let's go ahead and just reorganize this page. Um, I always like to do it just based on like theme and things like that. So I can do it like this for now, and then we'll have to reorganize it when, um, my other one arrives and as i mentioned in the video before this i'm not planning on collecting all the cards for bone voyage i just really really loved some of them and wanted to have them also yua is my oh my girl bias so while i do not collect her oh my girl cards um i'm just happy to you know have some of these from her um solo album Sorry, I just dropped two cards, so I had to step away. Okay, all right, these are her postcards that I have. On to Jisung Park. So I have, okay, Lee Young is gonna go here. I still need his photo card for my first and last. And then if we're going chronologically, then we go up, goes over here. I can't believe I called this <laughs> Wee Young um, earlier. That was done with me. So this is his page right over here. Um, I don't really collect his circle cards, but I did pull these, so I have these here. And then I've actually already traded for his um, NCT 2020 cards. I pulled a full Shaojun set for both versions of the album and fortunately managed to find trades for Jisung. Um, he's not like a super hard member to collect for, so that was relief. Okay, so let's just kind of flip through these. Alright, this is my 
Sungwoo collection, I guess. Um, I am not collecting all of his Korean album victim cards. I am collecting some, um, namely the ones um, from the album's release after X1, except for Continuous, um, which I might end up buying and things like that. So I'm collecting, sorry, that was like a weird way to explain it. I'm collecting his X1 like album cards um, and some non-album. I'm collecting his post-X1 Victon cards um, that are Korean album, and then all of his solo work album cards with a few non-album. Okay, I just said album like five million times. All right, so this is from Mayday. I do not have his other card from Mayday. Um, <laughs> all right, so let's... Let's do this because I have six here and then that, that kind of works for now. So we will do this. So this is the AR card from Quantum Leap, both versions. And then this is the, what is it? Okay, so this is the showcase card. I looked it up after doing my um, unboxing. These are the showcase cards and these are the Wanted Fan Club cards. Um, we'll just go like this, I guess. Okay, that's not like in any particularly lovely order. I, I don't know what to do with this right now because I don't have his other Mayday card yet. And if I do end up getting continuous and I can maybe make a new page for that. Sorry, I just had the world's biggest sneezing fit. Um, this I'm just gonna tuck here for now, and then I probably will do something off camera, um, but I wanna like plan it out more thoroughly. Okay, so these are his photo cards from Fame. I have a lot. Um, they were being sold at very reasonable prices. I think I paid around like $5, five to $6 per card. So I bought some sets and I bought some single ones. Um, these were my pulls from the album. Uh, and the way I'm going to format it is because he has three versions of fame, Han, Sung, and Wu, I'm just going to follow it down. And then I have these cards back here, which are pre-order cards. These were the two that came from K-Town for You. And this one is, I believe, an MMT one, my music taste, um, that I found for a really cheap price on Instagram. So I bought it um, because the outfits match each version. And this way I won't have like one empty spot here. So you can kind of tell in the back. Okay, so I don't have any like particular way I want to do this. I am still missing one of his Sung version cards. Um, I am waiting for it to get to the warehouse, or it might have actually gone, already arrived. Mm -hmm. Okay, well we'll just have to do... Let's do... Nah. Do that, and then these are the white ones that I have. I am going to have to, I miscalculated. Yeah, these are going to have to go on a separate page because it's going to take up all of these. So let me fix that. Okay, so I just added another page. Um, so I put his Mayday card over here. I made another page um, for his non-album photo cards relating to fame so again pre-order cards here and then this is technically an album inclusion um these are the, like the instagram bookmarks that came with the albums and i just stuck some inserts here um so if i end up having to add anything in the future um like maybe other victim cards so like the continuous cards they can kind of go somewhere here or here okay so getting back to his fame cards we are going to put Let's see, I kind of want to put this one in the middle <laughs> and have the center just be his hand. He is so adorable. Um, I love Han Solo. Okay, and then these are the Wu version cards. Let's, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, a beautiful full page right over there. And then we will put in his removing cards. So I want that one to go there and then the link to go in the middle. And then 
the one that I'm missing is his song version where he's just like smiling. And when Han Song Woo smiles, his eyes become these like little crescents and his like mouth is just this like, it looks exactly like a parentheses line. I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's a really cute card. It's probably actually one of my favorite of the song version cards. So we will put that there. I actually love that his cards fit into two nine pocket pages perfectly, even if that's like an unreasonable amount of cards to have. Uh, but I mean, the album sold well, so people clearly wanted it. Okay, so that is his page. We're just missing that last one. And then those are his postcards. So we are all set with the non-17 items. Let's go ahead and put away my 17 photo cards. All right, moving on to putting away my 17 items. As you can tell, I have since decorated this binder since the last time that you guys saw it. Um, I basically just took uh, pictures from extra albums that I had. I cut it up um, and kind of just put it over here. I'm still missing a few members, um, like individual pictures, but I have this group picture from an ode and then various other pictures from Hengare and an ode. So let's just go ahead and open it. Okay, and let's flip through. Um, we are basically going straight to an ode. Okay, so I have one photo card that needs to go in here to finish what I'm doing um, for OT13 for an ode. I'm basically just collecting nine photo cards for each version of the album, um, and I'm doing it in a way that there's three green back and then three white back. So if you flip this, you can kind of see it. Um, they're obviously nine times five is 45. 45 is not divisible by 12. Um, but I do have like at least two to three photo cards per member. Okay, so now we have the blue begin version. I have this one of Mingyu to go here. And then I also have a Dino white back to go in the middle. And then let's put Minghao right here. So I'm just missing one card right here. I want to collect um, one of Wanu's um, blue back cards. So that's all done. And then we have two to put away for truth. So let's slide these in here. Oh, we have Mock Me Line at the bottom. Ugh, this is one of someone's cutest photo cards, I think. So this page is all set. Look at that. Gorgeous. And then I have the last one for poet version. Super cute. I love these polos that they're wearing. Okay, and then we are also going to finish the reel as well. Let me just go ahead and grab these cards. Oh, are we finishing reel? No. Okay. I have two cards here to put away. Okay. So we'll put some on here and then Dino can go right here. And then I think I'm getting Vernon for this version as well. So that'll be another Mockley line um, bottom row. Okay. So an ode is done. Let's move on to Hengade. I believe I will be done with Hengade as well, maybe question mark. Um, so we finished Hana version and then we need to do Do. So I have, let me just move that up a little bit. I have Wanu's Do version. This page is already done. And then for set, I have these two guys right over here. Oh, I really love this Minkyu card. I'm so happy that it's in the middle. Um, so there's that. And then I have this last photo card. We are done with Hangar Day. That's awesome. Just in time for this next comeback. So that is all set. And I have changed things around a little bit, at least for OT13. I took out um, Hoshi's 
pre-order card for K-Town for you and just put it in his binder just because I have all his other stuff in there so it just makes more sense and then of course we have this random HMV Hengere card um, of Ming Hao just because I really liked it so I got it okay these are my bookmarks I have the last one which is Mingyu and then with that we are also done with the bookmarks and that's all the items that I have for uh, OT13 from this haul so let's rah, binder malfunction okay it's always the bottom rung that bears the brunt of these things so let's move this away and let us slide Hoshi into view and as you can tell, I also decorated his binder as well. Um, these are just various freebies, things that I've made, some Polaroids that I've gotten from other people, um, a picture from an anode on there. This is the front cover. He always greets me. Um, we are going to flip to Teenage and Director's Cut. Sorry about that. I just got a phone call from my property manager. I don't know why I keep getting these phone calls um, while I'm filming this. I literally never get phone calls from people um, normally. Okay, so on this page, we're going to put away these two cards. This is the director's cut lenticular, which is going to go right over here. And then this is the HMV for Teenage, which is that the correct way? I don't know that there's a correct way but I like to have horizontal cards facing outward if possible. So we'll do that. Um, that is all done. Let's flip over to you, Made My Dawn. And then I have another HMV card. This one, unfortunately, faces inward because that's the direction it's supposed to go in. So we'll just have to deal. Um, oh, that bothers me so much, especially because he's tilted <laughs> towards the outside in all the other photos. Oh, well. Okay, so that's all set. We can flip to an ode. And I don't know why I was so confused when I was unboxing my Neo Kyo order. Um, I had this impression that I was like one card away from being done with an ode for Hoshi. That is not the case. I'm missing quite a few cards. I think it's because I purchased all of these like a month and a half, two months ago, and they were the um, they were the oldest things that I had sitting in the Neo Kyo warehouse, just because they didn't make it quite in time um, for my first shipment. So yeah, uh, I have a few to put away. Um, all right, so on this page, we're gonna put one of the HMV pre-order cards right over here, and then this is one of his begin cards. As I'm sliding this photo card into place, you can notice that Hoshi is doing a peace sign in each and every single one of these photo cards. He really likes doing hand poses. Um, he always does a peace sign or finger heart, and now he does the harange. So that's pretty pretty in line with normal Kwon Soon Young. Okay, and then here we have. Let's see. We're gonna put this card in the middle because he's wearing this outfit. Um, that matches uh, his truth version photo shoot. Is this truth? No, poet, sorry. Um, and then this will go here. And then this is poet. That's right, he wears the old fashioned suit for poet. And this will go here. So once again, we have a nice array of um, peace signs, finger hearts, another heart, and then like a little, little chin V thing. And even in this one, he manages to get his hand in the picture. Classic, oops, okay. And then here we have his last real card. I'm actually gonna put right over here. I haven't decided, so I have his stickers on a separate page. Here I might, hmm. So I have these four cards that are also um, HMV pre-order kind of cards. This would fit really nicely in here, so maybe I'll do that. There's still like um, one or two other like fan sign or pre-order cards from an Ode era that I have yet to purchase. Um, and I think I want to purchase them, but these three are the same outfit, so maybe I will. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna do this. And then knowing me, I'll probably end up changing it off camera later on tonight or something like that. I'll put that like that. 
And then this one I'll just put here for now, just so I spread it out a little bit. And then because I don't like empty pages or empty slots, sorry, we'll just go ahead and put in these filler ones over here. Okay, that works. I'm kind of satisfied with that. And then we'll get back to that. So this is his hangar day section. Um, still waiting on some cards from group orders and things like that. I did purchase this HMV um, card that I'm just gonna stick right here, I guess. It doesn't really fit in with any of the other themes. So that can go there. Um, those are the bookmarks, which is all set. We'll flip onto his Japanese cards. Here's a page that I made of like freebies essentially just because I love Fallen Flower so much. So <laughs> I took some pictures from the album and the music video. Um, yes, I have his last Fallen Flower photo card right over here. And with this, his page is all done. Oh, this is so pretty. Again, one of my favorite um, concepts and music videos from Seventeen. Stunning. Okay, so here we have, ooh, let me just add one more thing before we move on to 24H. So I have this um, card, sorry, which I'm actually gonna put this out of order. So happy ending came after we make you. So we shall put it in this specific order. Okay, perfect. So yeah, and then this was just like a postcard that is from Happy Ending, and then this is Fallen Flower, and then um, I just said and then like three times in a row. Uh, we will put the 24H raffle card once I get it from my group order into that slot. So here we have a few um, HMV cards, and we also have some album cards. And then we have this like weird, again, Mu Infinity, M Infinity card. Um, <laughs> there's going to be five versions total and then, right, yeah, regular limb A, B, C, carrot, and then there's this weird album card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put these um in this order for now so we have the regular this is a limited b card i'm pretty sure it's limited b it's a a b c yeah no this is c and then the carrots one where he's going like this yeah and then we'll do this for now so then a and carrot will go here and then because there's four cards that don't add up into this page. Uh, if only we didn't have that card. Hmm. All right, we'll just put another page in. It really bothers me when <laughs> things don't fit nicely, but what can you do? Okay, so... Um, <laughs> How do I want to do this? It just sucks because like these photos match that super well. Hmm. Okay, I took it upon myself to just like do some things off camera while I figured out how I wanted to do the layout of this page. So whenever I decide on the layout of a page, sorry, there's like something there. Um, I try to do it in a way that's like chronological or makes sense based on like versions and keeping things together with their versions, but also keeping in mind like outfits, colors, like background colors, and like the aesthetic of the actual photo on the card. So um, what I did was I just moved this to a separate page. Um, I'm not getting any other photo card size inclusions for 24H, so depending on what their next Japanese release is, we'll just have to see how the next few pages end up turning. But because these photos are the same outfits um, as the ones from the actual album, I just want to keep it together. So um, these three are obviously the same outfit. He's wearing the same outfit in these, um, I believe. And then I think the carrot version is also the same white outfit. And then here he's wearing like a little, this outfit, but with like a little necktie thing. So this is how I'm just keeping it for now. I might change it once I get the other two cards in. I can't quite remember what they look like off the top of my head, but 
I just didn't want to separate them because aesthetically it looks nice like this. All right, so that's my tangent on how I do that. Okay, moving on to his special cards page. So here is, um, this will be new to you because this video will probably go up before my special 17 video, but um, here I have two of Hoshi's broadcast cards. Um, I'm like grinning <laughs> while saying this. Um, yeah, uh, I will go into how I got them in that video, but I was like very lucky to find these for a good price um and to get these cards uh especially because they're like my some of my favorite of his broadcast cards i just really love the ymmd era um for oh my and home they're some of my favorite title tracks so um yeah those are broadcast cards these are just freebies that i put in here because the page looks super lonely otherwise um oh yeah they have backs i make i like to make freebies i think they're really fun um and then that's my uh, Instagram handle if you guys ever want to look up my trades and sale page. Okay, so here is like HodgePodge, um, fan club membership, and then Seasons Greeting cards. I have this like Diacom card, whatever. This is the one that I want to go to. I have two DVD cards here. This is an ode, and it's going to go right over here. And then I believe, so Diamond Edge would be, would it be number two? I'm just gonna put it right here for now. I haven't decided if I wanna collect every single one of his DVD cards. Um, most of them are pretty cute. Um, there's like two that like are fine. Um, so if I find them for like a reasonable price, I'll probably get it just so I have his complete set. But I'm certainly not gonna pay a whole lot of money on a photo card that I don't think is that cute looking. All right, so here we have his uh, Moshi Mosh cards. So I already have one in here. Again, this I got from the same seller that sold me the broadcast cards. So um, this is probably new to you. We will put these, how do you wanna put these? These are the Haru kind of outfit ones. We'll put it here. Cause they have like a similar um, background style. And then we'll put these guys right over here. Awesome. And then because I don't like fillers, we shall put in some of these guys. Oh, wait, hold on. I grabbed the wrong filler slots earlier, so that's why. Okay. Is anybody else kind of particular about their like sleeves? Like I've, now that I've used Dragon Shield, I can never go back to Ultra Pro, um, Ultra Pro, sorry. Um, and then I also don't, like Ultra Pro is fine. I don't like their like matte back cards, be not because I think they're poor quality, but because they have this like logo on here that, um, I don't know, it just drives me insane. I don't know. Okay, so this is his Moshi Mosh page. We shall flip that. All right, so here is the start of his Carrot Land card. So let me reorder this a little bit um, and add a page. Okay. So I have his Carrot Land photo cards here. And then this is from 2017 when they had their first Carrot Land. So these are the two like unit ones and then these are his solo cards. So we will maybe just do it, it's gonna be a five. I guess we can just do it like that. Yeah, and then for symmetry, we shall do, I like this one in this order. Okie dokie. I'm starving. I really haven't eaten anything today because it, um, as you will have heard my story from uh, part one of this uh, two-part video. I woke up, went to FedEx, came home, filmed my unboxing, have spent the past like hours sleeping photo cards while responding to some like trades and sales on Instagram. And now I'm filming this um, and it is, oh boy, it's 3 p.m. Okay. Uh, so this is his Carrot Land 2017 page that's done. So this is his most, not most recent one, sorry. This is from 2018. 
right? 2019. Oh. I always mix up his... Yeah, okay, sorry. This is 2018, so we'll put in one more... The nine pocket page. I have that out of order. Okay, so we have a lot of cards actually. So we have two solo cards. Um, let's see how I want to do this layout. And then he has like a million. Um, sorry, these are not supposed to go there. He has a million subunit cards. Um, and I'm actually missing, I think, two or three of them right now. And then we have performance unit. So let's just do it like this for now. Well, that's going to drive me insane. That's upside down. Um, and then I have to clarify on if there's two or three that I'm missing. Because if there's just two, then that will actually fill out pretty nicely. Is there a particular order that I care about? No, we'll just do it like this. Oh, this works. He's doing a heart with Chol, so that's cute. There's my stomach. You had to have heard that. I'm like a little embarrassed, but also I just want to get this over with so I can eat something. <laughs> All right, so let me grab. Well, I guess if we're putting things there, then I won't put those in. Okay. So that's done. How cute is that? Um, anyways, so, so this is his Carrot Land 2019. Not the most recent one still. I keep forgetting that 2020 happened and um, that I'm collecting it. Um, actually, I just got, I just checked my Weavers um, account this morning and um, my order should hopefully ship soon. So I did two orders on um, Weavers for Carrot Land merch. Um, I wasn't originally going to collect the entire um, Carrot Land 2020 set, but then, you know, things change. <laughs> so um, when they restocked it, I bought uh, 12 or 13 additional packs of these. So those will be coming in the mail hopefully sometime soon. Um, Weavers can be pretty slow, so I guess we'll find out. Okay, so in addition to the solo cards, we have these guys. So I think I'm just going to put it like that because, well, there's three here. <laughs> I guess I can swap. I don't know why I had that in the middle. I guess I can just go like this. I think that works. Kind of like how that looks better. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Sometimes I try to plan how I want photo cards to like go like in what order and preference, but it's really hard until I have them right in front of me because I can like look at them on like a tiny template and like think about how I want things to go. But it's so different seeing the cards in person. Um, yeah. Okay, so that is that all done and then this is 2020 this is the showcase cards and then these are the concert trading cards so um i'm still missing quite a few of his um encore concert like unit cards um i have let's see i have like these three and then i have this one and then this one's actually doesn't even have a machine in it i just have it chilling here because i thought it was really cute um, photo of vocal unit, uh, but I'm missing a bunch and the unit cards are actually pretty pricey on Mercari. They're more expensive than like his solo ones. You can buy like his solo sets for pretty, I won't say cheap, but like a pretty reasonable price. Um, but yeah, there's like a few in particular, like there's one of him and Wanu that is like, goes for like 20 something dollars. And I'm like, I am not paying that much money on um, this this kind of card, especially because like they're pretty flimsy and they're cute, but they're not like super detailed and they're not like I don't know like it's a it's a concert trading card. I don't think they should be that expensive. I say that, but we're also gonna put away some photo cards that um do, do sell for that much that I bought. Okay, so um we have two group cards here. 
I'm just going to stick them in. So these two are actually with um, this set. So these are, sorry, these are the 2016, 17 um, photo cards. This is set A. Um, all his like, um, sorry, these are his set B cards and then his set A cards. But I wanted to keep these on one page because they're all solo cards. So I think what I might do is on this page, as I get more of his um, group and unit cards for the Encore concert, I'll put them in here and then I'll just leave these two right here for now. Um, I've had the biggest issue with like figuring out how I want to like display th these early era concert sets in particular. Okay, so this is Diamond Edge Korea. And I have his Diamond Edge in Japan. There's a noticeable bump in quality of the photo cards. Um, so this is a really expensive set of photo cards. Um, probably the most difficult to find and the most expensive that I've seen on Mercari. Um, I basically waited until I saw it for like a pretty good price. Again, um, not cheap, but like not unreasonably high um, given the rarity and how much these normally go for. So I bought it and now I have it. So yeah, they're cute, but they're not like the cutest cards ever. Um, but I just wanted it to have a complete collection. So here we go. I do love that the back of this card is like that though. It's not so cute. And then they have a little bong bong right here as well. So moving on to a set of photo cards that are really cute and also not that unreasonably priced. You can still find these for a decent price. Um, are the 17 Arena Tour photo cards. So let me think. Okay, so I actually have nine photo cards in front of me right now. Eventually, there will be more there's more than nine that i want to collect um some of his like group um performance unit and then all of 17 cards um i just don't have them yet uh they're a work in progress so i think i'll just put these all on one page for now and then once i get those other cards i will um sort them accordingly so let us do it like this maybe so or maybe i'll do that and then you can just go like that for now that looks semi-okay oh i miss i don't know what my favorite hair color on how she is um i do love the blonde i do love it when he has like his grayish bluish hair from the u um Make my day era was really cute. I do love a blonde Hoshi, but there's something just like so iconic about his neon pink hair. I don't know, that was that was a great time. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. And um, we'll flip it over, and then this is ideal cut, which I still need to finish. Ideal cut. Um <laughs> okay. So now we have Ideal Cut, uh, the final scene. Um, I'm still missing one of his um, duo pictures, but we will go ahead and do this for now. Yeah, that's fine. Or I guess maybe this. Oh, I just noticed that this one has a heart and the other ones don't. I don't know why. Okay. And then we will put inserts. I just noticed that these kind of balloon out a little bit. Never noticed that before. Okay. Okay. So, and this is Haru. I'm actually all done with Haru. Um, well, done as in I have all of his cards theoretically in possession. Some of them just have to come from Japan. It's all his like um, group 17 ones. Okay, this is the next 
part. So I have many photo cards. Um, some of these actually are repeats because what ended up happening was I bought these three because I thought I was only going to collect select cards. Sorry, my refrigerator just turned on, so I turned it off temporarily. Um, so I had forgotten about this. Um, what I did was I bought these three cards originally because I thought I was only going to collect select concert trading cards. Um, and then obviously that changed. So I needed like these five, of course. And then I also needed his group ones. And then I found this set for a really, really cheap price. Um, cheaper than me buying all the other cards, whoops, uh, individually. So I just purchased the entire set. Um, the other three I'll put up for trade or sale. Um, yeah, so let us go and sort these. Yeah, this is kind of the color here that I really like on Hoshi. Um, I don't know. He looks good with the all hair colors, lol. And then we'll just leave that and add in another page. I had such high hopes of making this video shorter. That obviously did not, was not happening. <laughs> All right, so we'll do subunit pictures right now. Sorry, there's a plane in the distance. Can you hear it? Oh, I want to put this out, but I don't think that's the correct way. No, they all face inward. Oh, that drives me insane. But the backs are like that, so we'll just have to make do. Okay, and then I don't know if you can tell, but this one's kind of like shiny-ish. Okay, but this one, how does that, why does that look like that? Right? Oh, okay, I don't know, I'm tripping. Okay, but these face outward. Okay, this drives me insane, but that's the correct way to do it, I think. I don't know. Yeah, that is. Okay, right, because the number's on the bottom left numbers on the bottom left well all right whatever so that's how it is um i do believe i'm still missing like one or two of his japanese um dome tour cards i'm trying to remember um what they are i think it's just one actually i think i'm missing one of the performance unit cards so i guess i'll go there um, when I'm done, and I get that card, but in the meantime, we shall stick in these inserts. Okay, that's all set. And then here we have um, O to U. Let me put in another page. So here, these cards will go in. These are the OTU Korea photo cards. Um, we have four solo shots. So we'll do maybe that and then that. Oh, hold up. I'm a dummy. What is this back here? I was like, I have some of these cards already. Okay, so we shall separate. I have, I have a jar full of like markers in the corner and it's like shaking every time I move, um, I unclasp and clasp the, the binder rings. Okay. Well, oh, I hate this. I hate when there's like four cards because how do you put four cards in a decent layout? The answer is that you don't. There's no good way to do this. But uh, I guess we have to make this work somehow. So we will... 
Oh, this drives me insane. Okay, well, let's put away these group cards first. So they did like units of three. So we have leader unit, we have um, three quarters of 96 line, and then this was just, I don't know, this is two 95ers in Hoshi. So that is fine. I do not mind the layout of this, but he has four solo cards and obviously we cannot put them all on the same page. So, 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 so. Okay, I looked over the template and what I forgot was that there are two um, 17 as a whole group uh, photo cards for OTU um, Korea. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, factor that into account. So what we'll do is we will do a six, um, card layout and then those two group cards can go right here. So I'm much more happy about that um, just cause I really hate, like five is the minimum that I'll do on a page. Um, four is just like four, you gotta find a way to combine it with something else. I don't know. There's not like any good way to do a four pocket page. I guess you can do this, but then that leaves the middle blank and I hate that. So I much prefer this. Okay. And that. All right. So then we just need those two cards and then this will be done. All right. And then finally to the last set of concert cards that we have right here. Um, OTU, uh, World Tour in Japan. Um, yeah. So... I will separate these based on um, unit versus solo. And I think, yeah, they like to do eight a whole lot, which is like fine, I guess. But, um, but it doesn't fit a nine pocket page is where I wanted to go with that. <laughs> we will do... These are the same outfit. So we'll do it like this, I guess. Yeah, that works. I'm happy with that. Actually, I want to swap this too. Yeah. So because this is a transparent card, I'm actually going to put in an insert behind it. Which it doesn't actually really help because the writing's in white, so you still can't really read it. But at least there's something there. I actually really like this card. Um, it's so shiny. Okay, so that is that page. And then we will put in one more of these nine pockets. And let me see, so here's performance unit, and then these are the group ones. So there's one where they're smiling, and then we'll do this, because there's three here, and then we'll actually, well, it kind of makes sense to put the selfie in the middle, so we'll do that, and then we'll go like this. Perfect. And then I am aware that there are also group cards for these as well. So we will cross that bridge when I get those cards. Awesome. Okay. And then we'll put just inserts for now. Okay, and then those are all the cards from my Neo Kyo order. Um, that it always takes a lot longer than I think it's going to take. So I actually now that I have gotten this order, I have like most of Hoshi done. I mean, there's still like a few things that I need, both album and non-album. Ooh, he's thick. He is thick. Um, but I've made a lot of progress. 
Um, obviously, with semicolon coming out, I will be collecting um, lots of 17 in the near future. I'll probably be doing less perusing on Mercari and more focusing on trades and things like that. I'm actually going to be collecting all of OT13 for, um, for semicolon. Uh, I will go more into that because I'll probably have a video um, dedicated solely to planning and then um, also putting away my polls, um, unboxing them, and then trades and things like that. But yes, I will be collecting every single inclusion for um, 17 semicolon. Um, anyways, thanks for watching this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye!